What you guys, today we're taking a look at how to take screenshots on your Android phone. I'm going to show you a few methods on how to do this. So let's first go with method one, and I'll show you how to do it with method one. So first off, hold up your phone here, and you should see your power and your uh, rocker button for your audio. So what you need to do is you need to hold down the power button and the volume down uh, button right here. You need to hold these down simultaneously together. And what will happen is you will end up getting a screenshot. You'll see the screen flash, and there is the actual screenshot right there. And this will show up in your library, and you'll be able to save this screen uh, shot right here. And you can share it as well on any of your uh, social media platforms or anything like that if you wanted to. You can save it here, or you can share. So very simple and easy to do. That's the first method. I'm going to delete that one there. I'm going to show you one more time on a website. So if you have a website that you want to uh, take a screenshot of you can do the same method and push it and it will take a screenshot you need to push them both together at the same time i do have a tripod in front of me so it makes it a little bit harder but you can take a screenshot of something that you want to capture very quickly and easily just like so and it will capture the whole screen and then you can uh, share that if you wanted to so let's move on to method number two here and i'll show you how to do it with method two so method two is go down to the bottom of the phone and push your finger down and push up a little bit and you should get access to this area and you can go back to any of your previous uh, things that you've been doing and take a screenshot of any of those and it will give you a screenshot just like so very simple and easy to do and even give you some access to draw on here or add text if you wanted to you can highlight stuff just like so uh, very simple and easy to do you can erase things as well and you can also add text on here if that's what you want to do and then once you've done all this you can then uh, send it to someone now this is great if you want to do quick memes or something like that maybe you've got a, a post that you want to take a screenshot of you can make your own meme and then send it to someone as well let me delete that and i'll show you another method on how to take screenshots on an android phone so you want to capture the whole of the page you can do that also i'm going to show you how to do this where you can capture a whole section on your phone and i'll quickly show you how to do that so first off what you need to do is hold the power button down and the volume button and then up comes this area here where it says capture mode click on capture mode and then what you can do here is extend uh, the capture mode to the whole page if you wanted to so let me go ahead and drag these up here and we can now capture this whole section and save this or send it to someone so maybe it's an article online that you want to capture and save it for later on and read it or you can send it uh, to someone else very simple and easy to do so for method four we're going to use the google assistant and this is going to allow us to use our voice to capture the screen and it's very simple and easy to do so inside settings we're going to need to go to uh, the apps location here okay so method four we are going to be using google assistant this is obviously going to be uh, allowing you to use your voice to control uh, your phone so basically we're going to go into settings and then apps and then we're going to go into assistant here and we need to turn on the assistant google assistant you need to set it up and once you've got it set up it will be able to uh, take commands from your voice so we're going to do continued conversation here and you're also going to have to set up say hey google here and this is for the commands that you're going to give it so toggle this on and it will give it access and you need to give this permission and again if you don't want to use this method you don't have to but i'm going to show you this because it is quite a cool, unique feature. So it's basically going to ask you to do a couple of commands, which says, OK, Google, what's the weather tomorrow? And once you've done this, it's going to say that is OK and give you a tick. And then you can move on to the next thing. So you need to give Google the correct answers so it knows exactly uh, what your voice sounds like. You can see here's only about two or three of them that we have to go through. So now say OK, Google and then set timer for five minutes once it gets used to this it'll give you a check mark here say hey google make a call and then it will uh, show you exactly what to do next so about four of them actually that you need to do here and once you've done this you're free to use the actual application for taking screenshots and other things so there we go hey google is ready so now we can click next and once this is done it's going to ask you to uh, start saving audio and images on your device i'm going to say not now so now we're ready to take a screenshot so let's go back and take a screenshot so let's give it an instruction hey google take a screenshot and you can see the screenshot has been taken and you can edit it delete it or share it very simple 
Anyway, that's going to be about it for this one. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Mm-hmm.